I had these felt stickers on the bottom of the chair legs for a while, but they don't work as well as I'd like them to. They usually end up like this or this in a matter of a day or two. Then I got this huge scratch on the floor and finally decided to do something about it. I want to make sort of a cap on each leg that come up to about here and hopefully they'll stay on the chair legs and protect my floor better. Here I have my fabric scissors, pins, felt fabric, and tailor's chalk. First, I roughly cut a 4 inch square and placed it under the leg. And took off the old felt sticker I no longer needed. Then I brought the two edges together to form a triangle shape at one corner and then pinned as close to the leg as possible without moving the position of the felt square under the leg. Then repeated the same thing on the rest of the corners. It's difficult to get it right at the first round, so at first, try to form the shape roughly. Then keep adjusting the pins until the felt is tightly fitted around the chair leg. Cut the excess fabric off from the corners, about a quarter of an inch from the pins. With your chalk or pencil, draw lines for the top of the felt shape. Adjust the pins carefully so you can cut on the lines you just drew. Then you can remove the pins. You get a shape something like this. I cleaned up the shape a little and traced it to cardboard paper to make a pattern. You probably have more than one chair you want to make these legs caps for, so it's a good idea to make a pattern out of some durable paper. Trace the shape onto felt fabric. Make sure to cut inside of the tracing line so you don't make the shape bigger when cutting out. And save these squares because I'm going to use them later. I cut out 4 pieces for a chair. Fold the piece like this and sew. I first used a quarter inch seam allowance and tried the piece on the leg and it was too loose. So I decided to use 3 eighths of an inch for seam allowance. It's a good idea to make just one and try it on then perfect the fit before you start mass producing these felt caps. I trimmed the seam allowance a little bit for a cleaner look. I made these pretty tight fitting so putting them on the leg bottom was a bit of a struggle but these seam allowances came in handy. Once they're on, they're not going anywhere. These felt caps worked great for the purpose intended, but I was a little worried that they were only one layer of regular felt. So a couple days later, I hot glued extra felt squares at the bottom for extra padding. And I think I'm happy with this project now.